Hello, we are going to talk eyeshadows for hooded eyes or how to apply eyeshadow for, hood, for hooded eyes. And I'm Marcy Dixon. I am your one compact, your whole face in one place gal. Uh, this is Saint 3D Cream Foundation, which is on my face, but the eyeshadows that we're using today are going to be powders and I'll walk you through the colors and I'll give you tips and tricks on how to apply the eyeshadow. So this on the top is my foundation. You don't have to use all these colors, but I'm kind of obsessed. And you may be too, once you get the hang of it. So we're going to start off with, I've already prepped my eyelid. So I put some um, cream foundation on there. And then I put a little bit of powder over top of it so that I will have a nice even um, eyelid, even skin tone for my eyeshadow look. I'm going to start with Mama. I'm using the Everything Eyeshadow Brush or Eyeshadow Everyday Brush can't talk right now. So I'm just swirling it into my powdered eyeshadow called Mama. Since I have a hooded eye, I'm going to not go into the crease. I'm going to go above the crease. I'm going to use my little cheat mirror over here. And I actually am holding the brush very lightly towards the end, the opposite end of the brush. And I'm just going to keep building that color. It's going to be very light. This is what you would con consider like your transition color. It's going to be the color that's more of a medium color. And again, this is a light look. We're going to actually, I, I'll show you a couple different uh, choices or different looks that you can do. We're going to build upon this look. So again, this is called Mama. This is a powder eyeshadow and this makeup is from Saint. Um, hopefully you've caught a few of my other videos. I'm working on getting more in my YouTube library. So this is Mama, nice and light. Could be a really pretty everyday soft look because then what we're going to do is just take our finger and pick up the color Sis and put it on my lower lid and it's a shimmer. Because I have hooded eyes, I tend to keep my shimmer colors, which I love to wear shimmer colors, but I tend to keep them down on my lid so that they don't, anytime you put a shimmer on any excess skin or um, any skin that's more wrinkled or going to be looser, it's going to draw like attention to it. So what we're doing is we're trying to make sure we draw attention to the areas we want to and then just not so much other areas. So I don't want to draw attention to the loose skin. So that's why I use um, a lighter color and I go up above the um, crease. All right. So there is just a really simple look that would take just a few seconds, especially if you're not talking like me or listening to me, okay? Now, the next color we're gonna use is going to be Revival. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch Mama on my hand. Oops, I already did. I already did another video, obviously. So this is Mama, it's very, very, very light, doesn't show up on my skin. And then this is Sis, which is a shimmer. Okay, so that was Sis on my lid. All right, so that's what we started off with. And then you can go to, let's make sure I have the color right on here. <laughs> All right, so then you can go to Revival, which it looks like a deep brown, but it's kind of a plum color. And what I did for my lip and cheek was um, a cream color. And I went ahead and did Royal with a little um, Summer Love on top of it, okay? Because I thought it was just, look at this color. I mean, aren't these colors all pretty together? Now, if I want, I can swish, swish, swish here a little bit with my brush, make sure it's clean. Um, this is the brush cleaning tile that is from Saint. All of these are from Saint and they're magnetic, so they just pop in here and customizable. So you're gonna choose the colors you want so you're not ever going to be wasting money. So I'll take the, mul um, no, the smudge brush <laughs> and I'm going to take and tap the thinner end of the brush. I'm gonna go ahead and tap it off, any excess off. And then I am going to start at where my last eyelash is and I'm going to just kind of stamp at an angle because I am older and I do look more tired if I take that color out too far. So I wanna always make sure my eye is lifted. So I go to that last lash and go up, okay? So I'm going to just take that color on the edge here and stamp at a diagonal, all right? So I will need to blend obviously, and this is the smudge brush. You could probably do it with, do this entire look with just one brush, the Everything Eyeshadow Brush. Now, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my brush and use the Everything Eyeshadow Brush and just start making circles and swirling. Um, the thing that I love about our powders and our creams is they're buildable. So I always suggest that you go with less is best is my motto, and then you can add more. A tendency, uh, especially when it's a cream foundation, you, think that you need to use a lot of it. And our products are highly pigmented, 
So a little bit goes a long ways, all right? So I'm gonna take this brush again and just really carefully tap into the powder and then just kind of tap, tap, tap again and try to make it so that it get, don't get too much of this and I wanna to try to keep my eyes even looking, <laughs> which is always a challenge for me. Again, you wanna to try to hold this brush lightly, swirl and take it over. Just make circles and eventually it'll all blend together how you want it. Just takes a little patience and a little bit of practice. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there, we're getting there. One more little tap. I'm gonna take it down lower here. And again, I'm pretty much always keeping my eyes open so that I can see what's happening because of my hooded eyes. And I don't wanna take that too far out. And I wanna just blend and circle windshield wiper motions, circle motions. And since we do have really, um, I'm more mature, I am 60, I have looser skin on my lid. I want to be careful that I'm not dragging, pressing too hard on that skin. So I'm just being patient and just blending as best as possible, okay? All right, so we're gonna tap one more time. Again, this is, a, this is just pretty much all about patience. And I'll just take a little bit more up there and take it across, okay? A little bit more across. All right, now these were two matte colors because they're going up above where I do have the looser skin. So again, I'm trying to keep those matte colors more where I have looser skin and I can use shimmer down below because I don't care how old I am, I'll probably always want to use shimmer. And I like the fact that I, I think we shouldn't have rules. I just like to give you tips and tricks that's going to help you um, like the look better, okay? So again, I'm working hard on making sure I get the even look. Oh, that's pretty good, not too bad, all right. Now, we can always clean things up and we will do that in a minute. Now I'm going to go in with Bend and Snap, which is kind of a gray lavender color. And I'm going to put that more in the middle of my lid. So again, we did a nice everyday look by just using Mama and Sis, these two colors, and then we built it up to a little bit more dramatic look. You could definitely wear this, wear this during the day, totally up to you, but um, I just wanted to show you how you can just elevate it a little bit more and add a little bit more to it, okay? If you want, you can add a little bit of the darker color underneath your eyes. I already had done that a little bit. Use it for a little bit of an eyeliner. Blend that out. And I have another color in here, which is Drift, which has a little shimmer to it also. You can put it on the inner eye here. I'm gonna to need to clean that up a little bit and then you can put it up here, okay? All right, so keep it simple, ladies. Simple, simple. I like to share, like, like I did, I like to share with that two colors to get started and then you can add more if you want to, all right? Now, if I need to clean up the line, look how this line is a little, little like stronger here, more lifted. I need to clean this eye up a little bit, okay? So I'm going to go in with linen, which is a highlight and it's a cream, all right? I will use, um, my multitasker brush, or not my, my smudge brush, sorry, smudge brush, smudge brush. Okay, and then I'm just going to take and take that linen, which is a brightening and it's a cream, and just kind of give myself a little line and clean it up here and feather that out a little bit. Okay, and give my eye just a little bit more of a lift. Maybe get rid of that quite, get a little softer look there. There we go. And then I probably need to even this, this side out too. Okay, so you're giving yourself an instant eye lift. All right, it's always a struggle to get those eyes to be even for me. So it takes a little bit of time. All right, so again, I'm Marcy Dixon and um, I love to share makeup tips with you ladies. The lighter colors are gonna settle, settle in or show your lines and wrinkles a little bit more, so you're gonna feather that out, okay? But I love to share makeup tips and beauty tips with you ladies, um, just because I want you to love your makeup, love your routine, love taking care of yourself a little bit more. I had kind of lost that love and now I found it. So, cheers. Let me know if you need a color match, if you're curious about the colors. Um, I'm always here to help you. And again, one compact, your whole face is all in one place, okay? Bye.